All right, class. So today we are starting a brand new text, and it's one of my personal favorites. Shakespeare's Henry V. <laughs> Man, I can't wait to not read another dumb book. It's a play, Chad. He was a down-on-his-luck English teacher. Your students have got the lowest reading scores of any class in the district. I'm assigning you a co-teacher. Either turn things around, or your teaching career is one chapter of your life you won't be finishing, see? She was fresh out of college and up to the challenge. We need to keep in mind that measuring reading isn't a scientific process. We have to find a balance between the content and the kids. Most of the kids just won't engage with the text. They'd rather read easier, simpler books that just aren't canonical texts. Or they don't read at all. But the students that read nothing now will read nothing in the future. We have to meet them at their skills and preferences and build from there. And how do you recommend we do that? So, for your weekly reading, each of you guys will be setting a personal quota because you guys are all different readers. And by doing this, you guys will receive your points based on if you meet your personal quota. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna keep up with all this reading. I really don't care to read some 300-year-old dead guy's ode to boredom. Well, what do you want to read? I think you might like this one. It's all about kids that are going to school to prepare for a huge space battle in war. It's super exciting. Yeah, the book had lots of cool things to say about war and what it does to people. Hey, I actually think you should check this one out. It's all about the Vietnam War. You know, it's crazy. The reading gets harder, but I also feel more prepared for it. From executive producer Catherine Batchelor. I don't actually remember the last time I tried reading something. I read more in this semester than I have in the past three years. Yeah, you see, reading is not only a challenge, it's an enjoyment. The more you do it, the more you excel at it. And the director of two unfinished high school film projects. Our students are improving in both stamina and fluency. But barely any of these are the traditional canonical texts, see? But they're confidently reading now, and what's more, they're actually getting something out of it. Two teachers from two different worlds will come together to find the balance. I never realized how much students can grow when you just trust them and put the power in their hands. Sometimes we need to meet people where they're at in order to help them grow and learn beyond what they think they're capable of. David Shoemaker, and Natalie Voicenet in Book Love, Chapter 3.